Hi, Tricia. How are you? For Maggie Burke, an electrical problem in the heart called atrial fibrillation became debilitating. It scared me at first, of course. I even called 911, but it was irregular and fast. And uh, after several tests, they said it was just what they call lone AFib. It's atrial fibrillation. They didn't know about her, apparently. Uh, Burke is a nurse at Barnes Jewish Hospital. The condition made being on her feet for long periods difficult. When I'm at work, I have to walk a lot. I couldn't do that. I would, I'd notice I'd get a little short of breath, never dizzy, but it really wore me out. And I think that's the biggest thing I wanted to tell other people. It wore me out. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, affects around 3 million people. For some, there are few symptoms, but many complain of palpitations, fainting, shortness of breath, or chest pain. It debilitated me, and I don't think I realized until after I had the ablation how bad I was. It's particularly debilitating for people who are used to an active lifestyle, who like to exercise or have a, a busy job, anything that's physically demanding. Most patients are treated with medications. Another option is a surgical procedure invented at Barnes Jewish Hospital called maze. However, a growing number of people now receive something called catheter ablation. Since the early 90s, the hope was that um, we could duplicate many aspects of maze surgery with catheter ablation. Catheter ablation is a way that we can um, minimally invasively enter the heart and create scar tissue through um, electrical current. Dr. Fattis and his colleagues at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine have taken this treatment to the next level using a system developed at Barnes Jewish called Stereotaxis. The system is controlled by a computer and there's three dimensional mapping that goes on and with that precision we're able to see the catheter tip in real time and move it around with millimeter precision. So I think the promise of that is very exciting and we think it's going to be revolutionary for the continued development of the catheter ablation for AFib. The procedure is non-surgical and allows for quick recovery. What's he doing? In Burke's case, she was discharged from the hospital by noon the next day. I felt like a new person. I mean, I just couldn't believe how good I felt within probably 48 hours. And again, being a, I didn't want to admit that I was as bad as I was. Friends knew, friends started to notice, people I work with would notice, you just seem exhausted. And now I'm back to, <laughs> I'm back to the old Maggie. For more information about atrial fibrillation or catheter ablation, visit www.barnesjewish.org.